About a year ago, I tested this cheap smartwatch that claimed to offer non-invasive glucose monitoring on your wrist. But when I compared the blood sugar reading to a finger prick, I quickly realized it was a scam. The non-invasive readings were completely off. Now, while the holy grail of non-invasive blood sugar testing still seems way out of reach, I have some good news for you. About a month ago, I discovered a new continuous glucose monitoring system with an affordable direct-to-watch feature that works for both iOS and Android users. And you know me, I love to test and research the new stuff in the CGM world all the time. So when the company behind this new system reached out, offered to send me a few free samples to test and do a sponsored video with me, I was all in. I also convinced them to do a giveaway for my followers. So make sure to watch all the way to the end of this video to find out how to win one of these bad boys. But first, let me tell you how exactly this CGM system works. It consists of two parts, the Cybionics GS1 sensor, which I tested on my channel before, and the SciWatch, which is a branded Cybionics smartwatch. So the system combines the traditional continuous glucose monitoring technology, where a small sensor is placed on your arm, taking the readings from your interstitial fluid and the smartwatch used as a receiving device displaying the glucose readings on your wrist. Now the obvious advantage of this system, at least in my opinion, is that as a traditional CGM it meets all the health and safety criteria and it provides reliable readings, unlike some cheap watches that you can get on Amazon. Now to get started I just had to link the smartwatch to the Cybionic CGM app by scanning a QR code on the watch screen with my phone. Next I grabbed the CGM box, unpacked the sensor and applied it on the back of my upper arm, just like any other traditional CGM. I connected the sensor directly to the SciWatch via Bluetooth and once the 60 minute warm up had passed, I received my first real time glucose reading directly on the watch. No smartphone needed. And here you can see how the watch app looks like. You can view your glucose information on the watch face or in the dedicated Cybionics app, in millimol per liter or in milligrams per deciliter. The app shows you your current glucose readings, an arrow to indicate where your glucose is trending and a glucose graph where you can see what your glucose has been over the past few hours. What I like about the watch is that it's very simple, so I didn't get easily distracted by other features. It also has a step counter or heart rate monitor, but that's pretty much it. So I could fully focus on the CGM function during my testing, which is what we all care about the most, right? The navigation is fairly easy and intuitive. So even if this is your first smartwatch, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to use it without any issues. Now you also have the option to receive customizable glucose alerts directly on the watch. But to be able to do that, you need to set the alarm levels in the Cybionics phone app. I was really excited to see that the alarms improved quite a bit from when I tested this CGM system before. The settings are a lot more customizable and user-friendly. You can even snooze alarms for up to four hours if you wanted to. Now to make it clear, the glucose readings can be displayed on the mobile phone as well, no matter if it's an iPhone or an Android phone. But the main benefit of this whole system, at least for me, is the direct to watch connection and the glucose readings available 24 seven on my wrist. Now I did Number of finger pricks to check the accuracy of the CGM readings using a conventional glucometer. And as you can see on the screen, they were all reasonably close, so accuracy was not an issue for me. Now, the reason why I'm really excited about the direct to watch feature is that carrying my phone on me all the time started to bother me quite a bit, especially when I'm outside running, skating, or playing with my daughter. And while testing this watch, I really enjoyed leaving my phone at home and still be able to see my glucose readings and get alarms in case I go low or high. The battery in the watch lasts about 24 hours and you need to charge it daily. I don't use the watch when I sleep, so I just put it on the charger when I go to bed and it charges overnight. Theoretically, you could leave the watch on when you sleep, but then you would still need to take it off pretty much every day to charge it for at least an hour. Now, what's cool about the system is that you don't need a dedicated SIM card for the watch. The sensor connects to the watch directly via Bluetooth, so you don't need to be online with the watch to see the glucose readings. But to be honest, I did find it quite helpful to connect the SciWatch to all my Wi-Fi's because that way I can also view my CGM readings on my phone whenever I want to. The thing is the sensor can only be connected to one device at a time. So your watch or your phone, you cannot connect to both at the same time. And if you're not online, these two devices will not be able to share the information with one another. And while you can switch off between the watch and the phone easily in the app, both devices need to be connected to the internet for you to be able to do the handoff. Now for me, this is 
is not such a big deal because I'm on a Wi-Fi 90% of the time, but I'm actually considering getting a SIM card for my watch so I can be online with the watch all the time. And that way there is a smooth transition between the phone and the watch. Now, if the freedom from your phone and the direct to watch feature sounds exciting to you, then you should know that at the point of filming this video, Cybionics is the only system that allows you direct to watch for both Android and iOS. As far as I know, no other system can do this right now. The SciWatch currently sells for 159 euro, which is around $170. Plus you get a free CGM sensor in the package, which is a really good deal, I think. If you want to get this starter kit with the watch and the sensor, then click the first link down below and order it. Now, I also want to point out that the Cybionics CGM system is CE marked in Europe, but it hasn't received an FDA approval yet. So unfortunately, they don't ship to the US. But as promised at the beginning of this video, we're giving away three Cywatch starter kits to three of you. To win one, you need to join my Patreon. You can join as a free or paid member, that's up to you. And you can do that by clicking the second link down below and commenting on the latest post about the SciWatch CGM system. And of course, those of you who already are supporting me on Patreon can participate as well. I will announce the winners of this giveaway exactly one week after publishing this video on my Patreon. Now, I realized we didn't talk much about the Cybionics CGM sensor itself. So that's why you might want to click on this video where I do full review. I show you how to apply it, I share my experience wearing it and all that good stuff. I will see you in that video. Ciao.